Hello, this brief demonstration is going to show you how to update the firmware on the DA1101, reset the DA1101 back to factory defaults, as well as setting up a very basic Wi-Fi network that's typical for most applications. In order to update the DA1101, you need to know its IP address. So here we're showing the DA Discover utility that ships with the product and is also available for download. You can see the link there at the bottom of the screen. In this case, it's 192.168.1.18. We'll log into it and simply go down to the management portion here and go to the Upgrade Firmware tab. And here you'll see the original shipping version that shipped with it, which is version 2.4 back in October of this past year. In the lower right is actually the download file I want to get there, so I'm going to go to it, select it here, simply by choosing it with that Choose File piece. You'll see it's there, and I select Upload. And what's going to happen now is the file is actually uploading into the system, and the system is now going to reboot. We're going to save a little time here and not show you the full reboot cycle here. Um, but what it does, it takes a couple minutes for that thing to upload, reboots itself, and comes back in. So once it comes back up, you log back in. And if you go to that same upgrade firmware page, you'll now see that it's updated the latest version. And if we go to the status screen, you can see the same thing. Up in the upper right-hand portion there, you'll see the firmware versions 2.5, and you can see that we have all of our settings down below. So in part two of this discussion, we're going to actually reset the DA1101 back to its factory defaults. So what we do is we log back into the device, we go down to the save and reload settings that you see down here under management. I'm simply going to select that uh, reset default, I'll select OK, and what's going to happen now is the DA1101 is going to reboot itself and put back its factory defaults. Those defaults are Legrand Wi-Fi for the Wi-Fi network and it's going to get its address automatically from the router that's already sitting on your, your home network. In this last part three exercise, we just want to really set up the network. Uh, very basic network, Legrand Wi-Fi is what we'll call it. Simple security. So here you see I've got Legrand Wi-Fi already done. I sit forward. I'm simply going to select WPA2, which is the best security right now in the personal world. And here where we pre-shared key is the actual password that you're going to input in on any Wi-Fi device that you want to enable. In this example, I use uh, this is my uh, password uh, I guess I called it, this is my password example, so let me go back here and type this in. This is my password example, and uh, once we type this in here, come on, we type this in, we'll click finished, and what the access point is going to do, it's going to reboot, and so now any device that's in my house is going to see this Legrand Wi-Fi network that will have the best security on it, and for me, in order to join that network, I simply just access it and type in, this is my password example is the password, yeah. and I'm going to be good to go. So the last thing we want to show you is just showing the actual status of this thing that, so we know we've got it set up, right? So when you log into it, you go to the status page, you'll see the Legrand Wi-Fi, you'll see the WPA2 security, and you'll see that I'm automatically getting an address from the network. So this concludes our presentation. I want to thank you for taking the time to look at this. Thank you for buying the DA1101. If you have any questions, please give us a call or check out our website at www.legrand.us. And as always, take a look in that support section. Sometimes we're updating the product. Uh, our customers always give us great ideas, and we're always trying to make the product better. Thank you.